Starting up the 18 C2 in DCS World. Let's start! There are two controls we need to bind for the startup. The first is HOTAS nose wheel steering button, which you can bind to a simple push button on your stick or throttle, or use the default keyboard bind. Next is the HOTAS pinky switch, which for the startup we're only going to use the aft, so you can bind it to a simple push button or use the default one that's on the keyboard or you can bind all three of them to a three-way switch or again use the default keyboard binds so we'll start by moving the battery switch to the on position and the inverter to standby and on the left side start the apu by left clicking this switch right here the apu's rpms will start rising in the meantime we can close the canopy with this switch right here and the canopy is coming down. There we go. And so the radio is right here for the HF FM radio set it to transmit. For the UHF AM radio set it to both. And the VHF AM radio set it to transmit as well. With the APU RPM at 100% set the APU generator to on. Turn on the CDU and the EGI. The CDU will do its bit test. In the meantime, we can start the left engine with right alt and home. The left engine's RPMs will start rising. With the CDU finishing its bit test, go to the INS page, alt align, and select fast. The fast alignment option will only be available right after the bit tests are finished. If you wait too long, that option will not be available and you will have to wait longer for the startup. But both ways work just fine, it's just that the full alignment takes longer. When the engine start cycle light shuts off, you can start the right engine by pressing right, control and home. You can see that the APU generator light is flashing, indicating that I can turn it off now. So I'll turn it off right here. And with both engines running, I can also turn off the APU itself right here. And while we're here, let's turn on the yaw and pitch sass. And also press and hold the takeoff trim for a couple seconds. And set the flaps to the middle position. Uncage the SAI by rolling your mouse wheel downwards. Turn on CICU, JDRS, and right click twice to turn on the IFFCC. Turn on the left MFCD, the right MFCD. Set countermeasure mode to either manual semi or auto, I will go with semi, turn on dispenser, RWR, jammer and the missile warning system. On the left side turn on anti-skid and set lights to taxi lights. For this next step only do it after you have all your weapons loaded up on the jet. If you have them loaded up, press load all on the DTS upload page. You'll know that the process is done when all these dots come back to all the labels. Then we can put the CDU repeater here, which just repeats everything that is on this screen on the MFCD for an easier access. And you can see that INS nav is flashing. It will flash when the nav system finished aligning, both in the fast or the full aligning configurations. The fast alignment takes 1.4 minutes, while the full alignment takes full 4 minutes. Either way, once it's flashing, Press the nav button right here. After that, set nav mode to EGI and select steer point right here and turn on the EAC. The EAC will only turn on when you have nav set and fully aligned, EGI set here, and the pitch and your SAS turned on. If you see that the EAC is not turning on, Check that you completed all of these other steps. Set the HOTAS pinky switch that's on the left side of the throttle to the aft position. And now we can turn on all the external lights right here. So I like everything nice and bright. So I'll do just that. And the anti-collision switch will only turn on if you have that pinky switch in the aft position. If you see that the anti-collision light is not turning on, it's because you didn't put the pinky switch in the aft position. Let's turn on the helmet mounted queuing system by right-clicking this switch right here. And there we go. Helmet mounted queuing system is up and running. 
we can arm the ejection seat, turn on nose wheel steering with the nose wheel steering button, and we're good to taxi. On the runway, set the nose lights to landing, throttle up, and release the brakes. Rotating, then gear up, flaps up, and enjoy your mission. Thank you so much for watching. In the first link in the description, I'll have a startup checklist I've made for you to download, so feel free to use it. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. When you come back from your mission, just make sure to land safely.